Hey everyone, when colouring an image there are countless colour schemes to choose from, analogous, complementary, triadic, monochromatic, but by far one of the most popular is the complementary colour scheme. One such complementary colour scheme which is widespread amongst films and television today is the teal and orange grade, which contrasts the red-orange skin tone with a teal background. When many people try to apply a teal and orange grade, they will often use different luminance values to apply their colour contrast, for example by adding teal to the shadows and orange to the highlights. Today, we're going to take a look at a far more effective way to add colour to your image, and that is by changing hues selectively. This ensures a correct skin tone and a simpler, more pleasing image. We're going to jump into two free editing programs, HitFilm Express and DaVinci Resolve, to show you how this can be done. Let's start off in HitFilm. I'm going to create a composite shot out of my footage, that way I can easily layer things on top of one another. We're going to start off just by simply correcting our footage. So let's go ahead and search up for something like a curves effect and drag it on. I'm just going to quickly apply an S curve and just the contrast and colors until it's all nice and balanced. I can do a similar thing in Resolve by going into the color tab and changing up the curves just right here. And we can use the color scopes to balance out our values. You can see here that our image is not nearly dark enough, so I'm going to darken it a little bit and apply some contrast. The next step in our workflow is to select the colors that we want to change. In this case, we're going to keep the skin tones as skin tone natural as we can, and we're going to try and change everything else to a nice teal background. So let's go ahead and duplicate our footage, like so, with Control D. We can open the effects up here as well. And what we can do is now we can apply a hue and RGB key. Let's go ahead and search up for it here, and drag it on after our curves effect. To make this easier to see, we can hide the background layer like so, and check checkerboard background so we can distinguish what's black and what's transparent. Open up the key, uncheck the effect, and let's go ahead and click and drag on the eyedropper to an area of the skin that's about average in value and saturation. So I'm going to select some area around here on his nose, and we're just going to check the effect again to see what we've got. At the moment, our goal will be to keep the areas that we want to select. So hit invert to make sure we're keeping the skin selected. We can zoom in using the scroll wheel, drag around with our right click, and we can adjust the tolerance to see how many colors close to it we want to have selected. It doesn't matter if you select a bit more than the skin, because these colors will likely benefit from this grade as well. This seems like a good tolerance for us, and I'm just going to increase the edge softness so that things aren't so jagged. However, you can still see that there are a lot of blocky areas and lots of noise. To clear this up, I recommend using a matte cleaner effect, dragging that on after our hue and RGB key, and then increasing the feather to soften out the edge. In Resolve, you can do a similar thing by creating a new node by hitting Alt S or Option S on a Mac. That will create a new serial node for us. And we can go into the qualifier settings here to make a selection. Zoom in and just click on one area in your video. You'll notice that the thumbnail here has changed so that only that color is selected. You can hit Shift H on your keyboard to view that selection. Alternatively, you can use this button up here as well. Click and drag with this tool right here to add more to your selection. If you ever select too much, you can go and subtract from your selection as well. You'll notice we still have this blocky grainy stuff here as well, just like in HitFilm. You can use these feather tools to smooth out the edges like so. If you can't get the results with these tools, you can use these sliders here. For example, you might want to increase the low softness on the saturation slider to make a smoother selection. Once you're done, you can hit Shift H to go back and you've made your selection. Any changes you make to this node, for example, if we just grab the offset wheel and we move it all the way to blue, you can see it affects only those areas that we've selected. A similar thing is the case in HitFilm now. If we grab any kind of effect, for example, a curves effect, let's reopen the background layer again, or make it visible, and if we change the luminance of the top layer, you can see it affects only those areas. I'm actually going to adjust the key very quickly to get a better key. So now the next step is to change the background and the foreground independently of one another so that we get this color contrast. Let's go ahead and add a curves effect to our background. 
If we go into the second curves effect here, go into the blue channel and for example increase it, you can see that it only affects the background and not our subject. So if we go ahead and apply any kind of adjustments to this, let's go ahead and add a teal look by removing some of the red, especially from the shadows. We can add some blue to the shadows and we can remove some green as well. You can see that we've made a teal background, but we've kept the skin tone the same. Without the skin tone layer selected, you can see that our subject would be blurred into this blue as well. To do the same thing in Resolve, let's add a new serial node after this selection by pressing Alt S again. And let's make those same corrections. Let's go into the curves and let's go ahead and select the blue channel, increase the blue a little bit, go into the red channel, decrease the red, and go into the green and decrease the green a bit. To now get this selection in, we can add a new layer node, which will add that layer similar to how we did it in HitFilm with this layer. So to add that layer in, just hit Alt L while selecting your teal node, and that'll add that layer node in. And make sure you grab the matte property here to get that selection in as well. And that will do the exact same thing as it did in HitFilm. Now this layer, the selection with these corrections are placed on top of our teal grade. We can notice some noise and some other stuff going on. So now that we have this all in place, we can refine our selection right here in the qualifier and make some final adjustments If we go into HitFilm, we can quickly see what would have happened if we added a teal and orange grade in the form of a luminance contrast instead of this hue selection. You can see that this compared to this is a completely different teal and orange look. And if you have a bit of a wonky key like I might have here, what you can do is use this luminance effect and we can even adjust the opacity so that we can kind of blend the two effects together. So that's a whole new method of color grading in both HitFilm and DaVinci Resolve. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, then be sure to hit the like button because it'll help other people find it. And of course, it really helps me. Even more than that though, subscribing to the channel will help me. And of course, make tons of other HitFilm and Resolve tutorials just like this one on editing. Either way, I'll see you in the next video. Stay shiny. Bye.